Hey Jeep 4xe fans, um, if you're new to the group, my name's Chris, nice to meet you. And uh, if you're not new to the group, uh, it's good to see you. And I'm just glad you're a part of this. I'm glad we're all in this little voyage together. Hey, so I'm, I'm gonna do something here that I, we have not really done in this group and I think it's time for a group experiment. And, uh, is this thing dusty? And I think one um, thing, we have all become a little frustrated with whether we've had it happen to us personally or not is the fuel oil refresh mode. Now, as we all know, fuel oil refresh mode or form, if you don't know all the acronyms yet, is um, is required. It is a, a good design on the vehicle that, um, you know, you can't leave the gas sitting in the gas tank forever. You can't leave this gas engine not running all the time. There are there are maintenance things you have to do to gasoline vehicles. You can't just ignore that engine and never do anything with it again. So form is a good thing, but what a lot of us have experienced is kind of like this abnormal form or irregular form or just a constant form. And that's something that a lot of us are finding frustrated and I think is quite abnormal. So I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a suggestion here that I think a lot of us need to try to see what is happening and see if this experiment might actually resolve some of our form issues. If you have not seen the video, I'll put the link to it down in the, in the comments. Um, uh, from a, a, I think it's called Engineering Explained on YouTube. He does a great job of explaining one of the drawbacks to a direct injection engine. And if you aren't familiar with the two liter turbo engine on the Wrangler 4xe, it is a direct injection engine. And he explains in the video a lot better than I'm going to be able to because I'm neither a mechanic nor an engineer, but I, I slept at a Holiday Inn last night. So I'm going to let those guys explain it a, a lot better. But one of the big issues with direct injection engines, or one of the things that can cause issues with direct injection engines, are short trips. What they refer to as short trips. Now, we're, we have to talk about what a short trip means in a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. We can't think of it as a short trip. We have to think of it as a short engine run. If you put your vehicle in hybrid mode, or if you just never touch those little buttons over on the left side, and you drive, say, 10 miles to work, you may inadvertently start and shut off that gas engine four or five times. Depending on your terrain, depending on how fast you're going, depending on how heavy your foot is, you may start that engine several times. Each one of those start engine starts could be causing an issue with oil dilution. And I'm not going to say this is a design flaw on Jeep's part. I don't I don't think we want to go there. What this may be is an operational flaw on our part and a training issue on Jeep's part, more than a design flaw issue, of training us owners how to operate these things better. So what I'm speculating at, again, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an engineer, but I'm going to speculate that some of us may have caused some oil dilution in our vehicles by leaving them in admin uh, in hybrid mode if you're a set and forget kind of person or if you've never touched those buttons it's going to be in hybrid mode you may be plugging it in every night and you may be driving to work and you may be starting and stopping that engine over and over again now if you'll notice the first time the vehicle starts if it's sat overnight the engine does run a little bit longer and that's to clear the catalytic converter and all that kind of stuff but I'm going to speculate and I don't know this I this is this is purely speculation on my part I'm going to speculate that if we are driving this thing, if you're a little heavy footed, we may actually be causing a condition that is triggering that fuel oil refresh mode. And if it is oil dilution that, that is causing your form, the only way to truly clear it is by changing the oil. Um, one thing that needs to be said right here, a lot of people have suggested resetting the oil clock in whatever that is, screen, uh, is that two? Yeah, screen two, where you can go in and reset your oil percentage. The manual says not to do it, and people at Jeep say not to do it. That could cause you a warranty issue if you reset that and then you forget, and then you go and drive 10,000 miles before getting another oil change that could cause you a warranty issue and keep in mind this is a connected vehicle and it's a rolling computer so they're going to know if we reset that clock all right so uh i'm i'm going to highly advise you not to reset the oil 
to try to clear fuel oil and refresh mode, even though a lot of people have suggested that, that can come back to haunt us. And I know some people say, well, I'm just gonna trade it in five years, who cares? Well, if it causes you a warranty issue at three years, it's going to cause an issue. So enough about that. So here's the experiment I, I wanna ask all of us to try and now that it's warming up of course this is a horrible experiment but it took me a while to get through all this in my head um, if you are not the type to start in the morning and drive in electric mode I want us all to try that now if you can't get it cleared you can't get it cleared you know that's gonna be another issue but try starting in electric mode and try using your electric mode first before you go into hybrid mode now Another way to go about this is to take a very binary approach to how you operate the vehicle. Uh, you either operate it in electric mode or you force the gas engine to run. One thing I have done here recently, once I started thinking about this, if I'm driving home and like the last half mile the gas engine turns on, I go ahead and maybe pull, you know, drive around the block or make a longer run out of it, or I anticipate that I'm going to have that problem and I pull the shifter over into manual and force that gas engine to run. You could go into e-save, it's a little less efficient, but um, if you pull the shifter over, of course, that's a little more efficient than e-save. However, you do have to make sure you're shifting and, and keeping up with that. So uh, that's the approach I've been taking. And um, I use I ran a lot of electric miles right up until December 5th when my uh, coolant heater module went went belly up and died on me and so my gas engine ran I ran in hybrid mode every day for almost three months until we could get that repair done so I was unable to go through the cold months to experiment but up until that point I was doing a lot of electric miles but if I ran the gas engine I ran the gas engine for you know 15 20 miles so I have never operated in it in a way that that engine's coming on and off all the time and I've yet to see form and I'm talking to a few other people that have gone all winter long and never experienced form and after I talk to them a little bit I find out they operate it the same way so I think there is something to be said for forcing this vehicle to run an electric or forcing the gas engine to run for a little while rather than just letting it start and stop. So um, please, feedback uh, is what is needed on this down below by people who are smarter than me when it comes to the engineering of direct injection engines and everything. If you have some little piece of information that I left out there, um, insert that in the comments below. Oh, I wanted to mention, if you are stuck in form, one way to see if oil dilution is your issue, pull the dipstick, and if the fuel, if the oil level is higher than the top, you know, the full line, and if it smells like gas, that those are how you know if it's got a little gas in it. Now, it may not have enough gas in it for you to be able to pick it up with your nose, and then, you know, you can have oil tested for like 40 bucks to see how much gas is in it. But, um, but those are ways that you can look and see if that, um, that oil level is higher than the top, um, than the top full marker on the dipstick. See if that's what's going on and you may require an oil change. And if you are one of those people that require an oil change to get form cleared, start operating in an electric mode only if you haven't been already. I'm making a lot of assumptions in this, but um, if you haven't been one of those people that have used electric mode and you've ended up in form, try pushing it into electric mode every morning and just see what happens. And um, let's keep this conversation in the comments below going and, um, and see how this all plays out. Now, I know for a lot of us, we're getting out of the winter months, but our Northern friends in the Great White North might be able to help us more than those of us in the United States. So uh, let's, uh, let's do a group project here and see how this works out. Thanks for watching.